Every time I put makeup on, my eyes want to tear up and cry and just weep and be allergic or something. I don't know. Today, I have Catherine Pooler date night inks to show you and play with. So I hope you will stick around. So I have a fun card to make. Um, I started playing already, okay? I already started playing. There's no unboxing because I couldn't help myself. I couldn't wait to set everything up. I had to play with it. But let me show you the swatches and the ink, col ink colors. So here is the entire date night collection of inks in all of their glory. There is Pucker Up, which I think is a great hot pink. Dosi -si Do, which is a beautiful pale coral shade. Catching Rays is in the orange family and it's in the part of the family that I love. Chiffon is the prettiest pale yellow. In the Park, which is in the minty family, minty green. Cumberbun, which is a pale shade of aqua blue. Serenade, which is a lavender and might be my favorite in the entire collection. Drive In, a deep blue violet, which might be my second favorite. Today, we are going to start with In the Park, uh, Pucker Up, and drive in, but I do end up changing it. So spoiler alert, this is not the color combo combo in the in the final photos. But don't these three colors look fabulous together? Let me know what your favorite ink colors from the collection are in the comments below. We are also going to be using the Birthday Cake Remix stamp set, as well as the coordinating dies, the Birthday Cake Remix dies. I also have the Let's Party Like It's stamp set, which is fabulous, as well as Oval Balloon Stencil. I also picked up a sequins mix called Paisley Park, which is not supposed to match, but it's going to anyway. So I'm going to start by ink blending a background, and I have this balloon stencil. I forget what it's called. I'll put all the names of things on the screen while, when I first start to use them because I, I started playing with this stuff yesterday and everything's out of the package, so. Welcome to my channel, if you're new here. My name is Corin Wiskman. So I am using a piece of Nina 110 pound cardstock cut to three and a half by four and three quarters. I've taped it down to my glass mat using some purple tape and a little bit of Heffy Doodle Memo tape to mask it off. And I'm just starting with the largest of the balloons on the stencil and drive in ink and I'm just using this blender brush to kind of concentrate the heavier part of the ink in the upper left hand corner and then kind of fade it and make it look circular a little bit. So whenever I think it looks good enough I move on to the next one the medium sized balloon and we're gonna put this one down in the bottom right hand corner and I'm using in the park but when you blend it over a darker ink like the drive-in ink, it looks really forest green-like, and I wasn't loving that. But we moved on to pucker up in the lower left-hand corner. I didn't want it to have a jewel-toned feel, and I think that green made it look more jewel-toned. I'm just trying to blend them all so that there's a darker portion and it kind of fades, giving it a little variant, a little a little interest. And I thought, I thought it looked good. To make it look even better, we're using white pigment ink on the little highlight portions on the stencil. I'm just trying to load it up with white pigment ink so that it really stands out. This ink is so old. I wonder if they go bad. I am using the Let's Party Like It's stamp set from Catherine Pooler Designs. And it has awesome sentiments. I think these are really great. I love making St. Patrick's Day cards. Um, I love this one when the kids left for college. And um, let's party like, and I love this. We're gonna use this one. I love everything that has shamrocks. Everything that has shamrocks. And then I also have the birthday cake. Um, I love this stamp set. I love these. They're so fun and you can decorate your cake. You can have icing and candles and there's two awesome sentiments and I just think they're fun. And But today we're going to use some of these other elements like these circles and this fun stamp and this one here to do some uh, heat embossing and ink blending. So let's get on it. 
I am taking the three dies from the Birthday Cake Remix die set and running them through my little Heffy Doodle die cutting machine, cutting them from Nina 110 pound cardstock. I am going to heat emboss on these cake layers, these awesome designs, so that we can ink blend and make them appear brighter and awesome. -er. I'm using Gina K Watermark Ink and Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Powder. After prepping it with my little powder bag thingy, I'm going to use patterns from both stamp sets that I'm playing with today to interchange them within the layers of each cake. I'm using clear embossing powder instead of white so that I could have a softer look to the emboss resist in the end. It's still white, but it's much more muted than using white embossing powder. I actually stamped several of these layer cakes to see which pattern I liked the most. I tried to keep the larger elements to the larger layers and the smaller elements to the smaller layers and I really should have used some tweezers that was getting really hot now I'm gonna take some of the ink that's left over on these brushes and blend them on my layer cakes I did not even go back into the ink pad I just used what was left over on my blending brush I hadn't cleaned them yet <laughs> like I was going to <laughs> I crack myself up, but it worked great. I got plenty of ink and then I went back in with my microfiber towel to clean off the excess ink from the melted embossing powder. It also helps to blend the ink even better. So I like this enough. This looks good, but it looks too forest greeny. I wanted a brighter green, so I used a panel that I had blended earlier in the week. This panel uses uh, melon ice for the green balloon instead of in the park, which just appears a bit brighter to me. More fun, less dramatic. So I wanted to stamp the sentiment directly on that largest layer, that bottom layer of the cake. So I arranged it in my original Misty and stamped it with a VersaFine Nocturne Claire or VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink right in the center of this birthday cake. I also didn't want to cover up any more of my beautiful balloons with a sentiment strip. At this point, I wanted to add some pizzazz to the background. So I grabbed some of the smaller Im images like this little swirly thing and the asterisks and I used fog ink to make it subtle and it's so subtle that you can't even see it so I probably should have used a darker ink. So instead of reaching for a darker ink I just reached for more pizzazz and we're going with some sequins. This is the Paisley Park sequins and I'm trying to decipher which ones match the best because they're not supposed to match but there are colors in here that I thought went really well with my card. Now I play with sequins for years so I take a picture when I finally decide where they should go so that I can remember exactly where they were exactly I think this shows that the new date night inks fit in really nicely with the whole collection I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the new inks and making a birthday cake with me find me find Catherine Pooler on social media and until next time